Shalom Akim and welcome to GMS Gallows on the Streets. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, whom I worship. Double honors to my elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word in sincerity and in truth, who rule well and are still on the highways and byways, pushing this word to the very end so that they may receive their crowns of salvation. Salutation to all the Akim out there who are doing the same, you know, keep pushing on. Um, also, you know, peace and blessings to and salvation to um, all the families who are believing out there um, throughout the whole world who are watching and who, who believe, you know. You know, may Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai bless you, you and yours, and, um, and save you at the end to deliver you from that fire to come, that great fire. All right, so... Um, as always, I like to say, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of the videos that I put up. So, uh, today's verse of the day is Isaiah, the 40th chapter, from the 3rd to the 5th verse. And it reads, The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert, a highway for our power every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it all right so let's let's go back and read it and break it down and it says, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Now, what is that speaking about? That's speaking about the, uh, the prophet Elijah coming back again, reincarnating, okay? Something that vocab and, and uh, these Christians do, do not understand. They can't get it. The Lord didn't give it to them. Uh, the Lord didn't open their minds to that, you know? And... And it's a thing that the Lord does, you know. He bring, brings back spirits in the flesh here on earth. In other words, this this person lived so many years ago, right? So many thousands of years ago maybe or hundreds of years ago, you know. And then the Lord brings them back in the future, you know. Looking different in a different body, but it's the same spirit coming back. And they don't have no remembrance. According to the book of Ecclesiastes, the first chapter and the ninth verse, they have no remembrance of their former life or of the past. All of us have been reincarnated. Okay? Um, so it says, The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness is talking about Elijah coming back again before the, before the great uh, um, destruction that's about to come, that's about to happen on earth very soon. It says, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway of our power. Right, it's talking about this is his job. When he comes back, this is what he's to do. To prepare the way. To wake up, um, well, to wake up the elect within Israel, man. You know, to let them know that the Lord, that the Lord was coming. You know, that the Lord was coming to bring the light, you know, and to bring the judgment upon this, upon the wicked, you know. And that's what he did. Right? It says, um, uh, make straight in the desert a highway for our power. Right? A desert is, is dry. Why is it called a desert? <clears throat> because there's no water in a desert. It's dry. It's, you know, there is no moisture. Right? And that's, that's reminiscent of the brains of our people. Dry, without moisture, without the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord. You know, the word of the Lord is water. And water, what? Gives you moisture, right? So, the word of the Lord, that's what that's what it did to our minds. It, it, it watered our dry, the dry grounds of our minds. Okay? And, and we were able to understand his word. But not all Israel, only, only a few, right? An elected number uh, received that water, you know, re received that, that blessing. 
So it says um, a highway to our power, right? A way, a way for us to for us to come together and get into the, uh, by way of His word, so that we at the end could be saved. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And now, according to the scriptures, mountains and hills represent represent governments. Uh, mountains are big governments and hills are smaller governments okay and what it means is that um, when the Lord comes he's gonna put down all all rulership of the wicked of the of Esau Edom and the other nations beneath his feet and we Israel that have been in, in a low place a valley is a low place we're gonna be exalted over the mountains and over the hills okay so it says, and the crooked, and the crooked shall be made straight. Right, the crooked represent, you know, our, uh, us. You know, at one time we were crooked. We were going in the wrong way, following after the philosophies of the heathen, following, you know, keeping up with the traditions of men, and the, the you know, the, the bullshit holidays, you know, that the pagans worship and follow, Christmas. Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, all this bullshit, man. And believing lies, right? So now that the Lord came and gave his word, our crooked ways have been made straight. Now the Lord can accept us. We have been made clean, right? And the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, right? The, what's the glory of the of the Lord? It begins with his word, right? Through, through the Rakakwadash unto his chosen and then ultimately him him coming with the chariots to deliver his chosen okay and it says and all flesh shall see to see it together right all all flesh and it means all flesh all nations and all peoples will see the deliverance of the chosen of the heavenly father all right in these last days they're gonna see. They're gonna see the the so-called UFOs come down, delivering up the chosen, okay, of the nation of Israel. They're gonna see it, man. And it says, for, um, "For the mouth of the Lord have spoken it right," and that's that's prophecy. All right, this this has not. This is coming to pass, uh, because uh, uh, by way of the word, the word being given to us, but as far you know. As far as us being delivered and all that, and and having power over the nations, that's what we're waiting for, okay? That's the blessing that the Lord has given us. So now, give me a second. This is Matthew's the third chapter. No, yeah, Matthew's the third chapter in the first verse, right? And it says. In those days came John the Baptist, which was Yahweh's cousin, by the way, preaching and uh, I'm sorry, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, "Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah. I just read that, saying, "The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord." There's only one way. To the Lord and or of the Lord, there's there's not many ways, okay. Make his path straight, okay. And it says, uh, and the same John saying, and uh, pretty much Yahweh Shai was telling them that John the Baptist was the prophet Elijah coming back in the reincarnation. All right. It says, and the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins. And his meat was was locusts and wild honey. And I got one more scripture to bring out. The book of Malachi, the fourth chapter. And let's see if I read through this quick. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and... We prophet, we at GMS, we prophesy that, man. We're like the only camp that prophesied this, man. 
you know, or push this the most. For behold, the day cometh, which is talking about the um, thermonuclear missiles being shot off to burn this place with fire. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud day and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom is the wicked, right? Two-thirds of our people are the wicked. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet, in the day that I sh that I shall do this, right? In other words, the elect is going to be raised up in those so-called UFOs, right? Which are the chariots of Israel. And everyone un under us are going to be burned up by that fire. All right? And it says, um, Under the soles of your feet, in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Remember ye... Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah, which that was John the Baptist coming back. I mean, I'm sorry, John the Baptist. Elijah came back as John the Baptist. Okay. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. <coughs> and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, uh, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And the curse that the Lord's going to smite the earth with is the thermonuclear uh, missiles. So with that, I'm going to um, sign off right there. Hopefully that was an edifying lesson. Until the next one, Shalom.